of dead fish spread out for miles off the coast of Boca Grande. A veteran charter captain says it's the worst that he's ever seen. Four in your corners, Adam Pinsker telling us why this captain is so worried. Adam? I'm at Charlotte Harbor and it is tarpon season here in this area. Anglers and charter captains are excited, but they're worried that the fish kills could put a damper on business. It was the largest Lo the largest amount of dead fish that I have ever seen in my career. A career that spans more than two decades for Charter Captain like Rhett Morris. Out, On Wednesday, he came upon this massive line of dead fish, mostly snook off Boca Grande, spanning for miles. This is what makes this red tide event so scary, is that these snook are getting wiped out right now and they're all full of eggs trying to spawn. According to FWC, fish kills can be caused by algae blooms, cutting off oxygen below the surface. But Morris says red tide is unusual this late in the year. He says fish kills have gotten worse over the past few years. He blames Lake Okeechobee water releases, but also says Floridians are to blame, especially ones who fertilize their lawn. As soon as we get our first heavy rains, like we did, we had 13 inches of rain in the, before the month of May ended, which was excessive, and that flushes that top layer of fertilizer straight into the water. Morris says lately some of his charter customers have come back empty-handed because most of the fish are dying, and he worries about what that will do to his bottom line. I've been a, a full-time captain. I've never done anything else since I was 18 years old, and this is all I've got and I am extremely concerned. And Red also blames poor water management practices by the state over the past several decades for the pollution problems here in southwest Florida. Reporting from Charlotte County, Adam Pinsker, Fox 4, in your corner. All right.